five things, five of my most favorite things right here at the beginning of summer. And I can't wait to share them with you. There's going to be one thing that you're going to see right off the bat that I am not pleased with at all. I'm definitely going to need some comments from you. So stay tuned. I have to tell you something so funny before we even get started. We're in the middle of this move, packing, and there is stuff everywhere. I had to carve out this little corner of the living room to even film this video. And by the way, this is gonna be the last video that you're gonna see filmed here. Wow, oh my gosh. But I knew I needed to do this video, one last video before we moved. What I did a few days ago was I blocked out some time to film this video. And then the next day I was gonna block out about three or four hours and actually edit the video and get it uploaded to YouTube and scheduled to come live to you at noon on Saturday. That way I could be totally involved with the move from that point on. So I sat down and filmed it. And then yesterday afternoon, I sat down to edit it. And it was in little clips and the very first clip had no volume. The other clips had volume, but that first one didn't. I couldn't figure out how to recover the volume, the sound on it. So it meant I had to redo the video. Jim played golf this morning and I thought, perfect. I will get this video refilmed and edit it today. So it will go up tomorrow, Saturday. I sat down first thing, I'm all set up and I filmed the video. It was completely filmed. I sat down to edit it, and guess what? I had this huge blob of lipstick on my front teeth. It was big. There was no way you could pay any attention to anything I was saying or showing you because that lipstick <laughs> was just all you saw. So I went, okay, calm down. I'm still playing golf. I can sit back down, put my little dress back on, and by the way, you're gonna to wanna to see this dress at the end of this video. I think you're gonna want one. But, but I sat back down and I refilmed it completely. He's still not home from golf. I thought, okay, I'll edit. Sat down with my computer, put that card in. Guess what? No sound. First time, no sound, no volume on the first clip. And it was instrumental to the video. The second time, lipstick on my teeth. The third time, no sound whatsoever. I forgot to turn the microphone on. This is the fourth time. Jim came home from golf and I said, and he knew what had happened with the first one. And I said, you're gonna have to leave. You're just gonna have to leave. I can't film with him here. There's too much going on. Biscuit gets anxious. So I made him leave and I said, I will call you when this video is filmed. So you're getting the fourth version of it. <laughs> Try to forget that, okay? Try to forget it. So let's just start off with the, the one thing that I'm not pleased with. I have had many of you ask me over the years, uh, if I can recommend a good self tanner, and I can't because I haven't, I can't remember the last time I used a self tanner. We've been in Florida for so long now, and you know, in Florida, if you're outside at all, you're going to get some good sun. And I, I'm one of those people that I get color really, really fast, and I lose it fast, but I get it fast. So I have always been a pretty good color, but with all this house hunting and selling our house and packing and being inside, I literally was getting white. So a, a week or so ago on home shopping, they were showing self tanner and I thought, bingo, I'm going to order that. That will solve my problems with the tan. I ordered it. It came in a day or so ago. I decided to try it and let me show you what it is. Okay. And they talked about how it did not turn you orange and it did not smell like self-tanner. So it is the Tan Lux Hydra Mousse 
self-tanner. This is what it looks like. It's a clear liquid and it's a foam. You spray it out and you spray it out on the mitt that comes with it. Love the mitt. It's, you put your hand down in it. It's just a thin fabric here, but this side is padded. So you just spray it on here, the foam, and then you just rub it on. It goes on clear all over. You get it on. I did my arms, both arms changed, you know, did both arms. You wait a few hours and you're supposed to be tan without being orange. In a few hours, I was as orange as you could be. I was orange. So I knew this was not gonna work for me. It's going back. I usually use, if I want a little color, my uh, Sally Hansen leg makeup, and, and I put it on with a kabuki brush, and that's what I've done here to give myself some color. But this is definitely going back. What I want from you mainly is, I would really like to find a self-tanner that doesn't turn orange on me. This may just have something to do with me and my skin, uh, that it would turn me orange, so, let me know if you use uh, a good self-tanner that doesn't smell, that is easy to apply, not messy, and that does not make you turn orange. That's what I'm looking for, and I know that's what many others are looking for. If you have found something that you love, leave it in the comments so that we can, all of us, can look at it and check it out. If you're using one like that, that definitely did not work for you. Let us know that too, okay? All right, going back to home shopping. Now listen, I know that some of you are looking at this necklace and you're going, oh my gosh, that's cute. It's pearls. It's a little red Swarovski heart. That is really cute. I wonder where she got that. I'm gonna tell you. But I'm gonna tell you another story that goes along with it, how this came to be. Now, if you're on Facebook at all, I can't believe you have not seen the advertisement, the video of Maria Nicola showing the Tenway necklace. She takes pearls, she takes colored gemstones, she takes uh, colored clear crystal stones, and she has this piece of jewelry called the Tenway necklace where she can make that necklace do so many things make it so wearable in so many ways. And I watched it and I watched it and I watched it and I just wouldn't order it. And the reason I wouldn't order it is we know that when you order things off of online and her company is located in Australia, but still we know that sometimes what you get is not what you thought you were gonna get. Sometimes we're very happy or pleased with what we've ordered online, sometimes we're not. So I was a little bit hesitant. And out of the clear blue, just before Mother's Day, the video changed and she was selling this particular necklace. And it's called the Mother's Day necklace. And it's a strand of freshwater pearls and two silver beads that are magnets. You could get it either in silver, yellow gold, or rose gold colors. And I think there were about maybe six or seven different color of Swarovski hearts that you could get. It was called the Mother's Day pendant or necklace. And it was a little bit less expensive, so I thought, you know what, I'll try that. I'll order that first and see if the quality is good and how everything is. And if I like it, then maybe I'll order the Tenway. So it came in within a week. I was shocked that it came in so fast, but it came in within a week and I loved it immediately. And then the thought occurred to me that if I loved this, y'all probably would like it. And I felt like if I loved that Tenway necklace that you would like that too. So I contacted Maria, reached out to her, told her I had a YouTube channel and that, you know, I had uh, a pretty good size audience and would she like to send me a necklace in exchange for me showing it on, in a video? And she said, yes, just pick out which one you want. Let me know which stone you want. And like I say, there's over 30 different colors of stones. And at first I was going to let her send me the one that I would order for myself, which was the light blue crystal. 
it just had my name all over it. I absolutely loved it. And let me tell you, this move is behind me. I will own that one too. But when I thought about it, I thought, okay, not everybody is going to like that light blue. So what can I get that probably most of you would like to? And I chose, I'm going to reach for it, I chose the pearl, the, the freshwater pearl. This is how it came to me. And again, it came in a very timely manner. Because it's magnetic, the box is magnetic. And you open it and it looks like this. And what I really like about it is if you've watched Maria's video, you'll see that she is so slick. She is so smooth when she demonstrates this necklace, all the different ways that you can work with it and design it to be just exactly what you want it to be for that occasion. She is, oh man, she's good. And when I first started playing with it, I was all thumbs, let me tell you, all thumbs. But as I've worked with it, I've gotten better. As I've done this video four times, I've gotten better. So this is how it comes, and you can see all the different ways right here that you can wear it. Let me pull it out. I love it. This is it. Whoops. And it's too long to really show it here. But, as I said, it's magnets. And I chose for the pearl necklace the gold color magnets and findings. And when you are dealing with these jewelry magnets, you never pull them apart. You can break it. But you slide it with your fingers. And you can hear it. So you slide it apart. This would have easily gone over my head. And again, you can't see this, but let me take the little Mother's Day one off. And by the way, the Mother's Day one still is on her website, but this is it. And I can't begin to show you all of the ways that Maria shows us how to wear this necklace. But I'll show you just a few of the ones that I have sort of uh, done myself. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the little small strand off. And you can, again, you can hear it click. This is perfect for every day. I would wear this with this little dress I have on. I would wear it uh, with my capris and a cute top. I would wear it with my shorts. I would wear this to the beach. This is pearls. I mean, the beach, water, oysters, pearls. I would wear this to the beach. I mean, if you want something just so simple, I think this is just perfect. And I would even probably turn the little magnet around to the side. I like this look. So this is a, a look that I will get a lot of wear out of. Then it has, oh, the sun just went behind the clouds. Then it has these little strands of fatter beads or pearls, and I will take those off. Did you see that just automatically connected? And look, you have a bracelet. I have a small wrist, but it'll stay on. I mean, many of us have no one to put our bracelets on us. You don't need it. It takes care of itself. I'm right-handed. I did that with my left hand. So love that. The other part is this little three-strand. Look. Is that not beautiful? This makes us the designer. I mean, we, this very possibly is the only pearls we will ever need again in our lifetime. We can do so much with these. I mean, we can get up and decide what we're going to wear, and we can pull the pearls out and just arrange them any way we want them to make them work for us. We can do this. I like this look. Or this. So again, there there's just there's just so much that you can do with this. Now, 
what I've shown you is the basic necklace, but you can also buy accessory pieces to it. And she sent me a couple. And here is one that I love. I love this. This is the tassel. And we're all familiar with the popular tassel jewelry that's so popular right now. It's out there everywhere. So we'll just slide those magnets. And that this is the way the accessory piece comes. You could wear it just like that. You could wear the three strand with the tassel. You can take the the smaller strand of the ten way and get that long tassel look that you'll see when I show you this dress that is so popular right now that everyone is wearing that if you look in any fashion magazine or any magazine period you see this look where there's the tassel hanging at the end of a long chain or a long strand of pearls. So you could do that. I mean, there's so many things you can do with the little tassel accessory. And then she also sent an enhancer. And, the, and you can see that it's a pearl on both sides. And uh, again, you can use it so many different ways. How cute is that? How cute is that? Let's play a little. How cute is that? Or you could wear it that way. If you have your hair up and maybe a low back, why not just turn that around? And you would have this look from the front and you would have the pearl enhancer on your neck on the back side. I think that would be wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, let's try something. They're magnets and they're sticking together. <laughs> uh, listen. You're the designer with this necklace. You are the designer. You can wear it any way you want to. And with the, these accessory pieces, oh my, oh my. It's just, I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Maria. And by the way, Maria is kind enough to give us a discount. If you use my discount code, you'll get 15% off of your order of anything on her website. And she has earrings. She has, and by the way, these earrings that I'm wearing are old, old, old. They were from Ross Simons. I mean, they're way old. I'm sure you can't find them anymore. And the same with this little pearl ring that I put on. I've had this ring for probably 30 years, so you couldn't find that. But, but Maria does have earrings and other jewelry pieces, so you'll want to check that out for sure. But she's given us a 15% discount on anything if you use the Rockstar Mom 15 discount code and I'll list all this below in the show more the description box below the video so that you can go right to it with a link that you can get over to her website and by the way this discount code is only going to be good for four months four months so don't think oh I think I'll wait till October and November or maybe I'll wait for Christmas and buy it for myself or tell one of my children I want it for my for Christmas present you can't do that the discount won't be good the discount is only going to be good for four months from the date this video goes up originally, which would be tomorrow, Saturday. And I'll, again, I'll have all that listed below, but uh, she has such, oh, she has beautiful kimonos on there and one I have my eye on. And I will tell you that I am going to own that light blue crystal one. I am going to own that 10 way. When I get through this move, that necklace is mine. I'll be buying it for myself but I love these pearls too. I love being able 
to just put these on and wear them any way I want to. I was thinking too about some of our first ladies uh, in the past and movie stars who wore pearls. Their pearls were their signature piece of jewelry. It was They were their signature look. Who's to say that we can't do the same thing? Who's to say that we can't have pearls that are our signature look, but they're pearls that we can adjust to any occasion, any neckline, any way we want to wear them. We can make them work for us. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. In the last video, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below, but in the last video, you know that I had bruises. I had insect bites. I had broken a toe. It was like Everything that could happen to me had happened to me. And some of you are saying, in spite of all of that, Patty, your little kiss nails are still on. And yes, they were. And that is my next favorite. I've talked to you about these before, but I'm telling you, I love these. For those of you who've been around, know that I wore acrylic nails for many, many years. Never took them off. I would just have them replaced until I found these little kiss nails. They just work for me. They work for my lifestyle. And I've done two or three videos on me applying them, showing you how I apply them. And by the way, I'll list those videos below too, at least one of them. But my only complaint about the kiss nails is that they send some in the package that are way too big for my fingers. I wind up throwing away a lot of them because I have such small nail beds. Many of you in the past have told me that that they actually make a petite nail and I should check those out. I was in Walmart not long ago. I was looking at them and they had the petite ones. I bought a box. I thought I would use them when I put these nails on the other night. Do you know I didn't like those at all? They were way, they looked like little girl nails to me. They they just didn't look like these. I like the nail that has the wider white tip and these had just little slivers of white tips on them. I, I just like these much better. I didn't like those at all. You might like them, but I didn't. I'm gonna list these nails, the ones in particular that I wear and that I love and that I wear all the time. I will tell you, and if you're wearing them, you already know this, you might try them the first time and you may fail miserably at it. You say, these are just not for me. I'm telling you to try them again. There's just a slight learning curve to these nails. You know, you have to figure out how much glue you need for you. Put a drop on your nail bed, a drop on the underneath side of the nail, how long you need to press it to make sure it adheres well enough to stay until you're ready to take them off. Usually I count to 10 with each nail, but I just love them. I love them and I'll continue to wear them until they no longer make them. Now the next thing I wanna show you, and you've seen me show you this so many times, and so many of you have bought this, and so many of you leave me messages about how much you love it, and that's the little Opolar fan. This little thing is wonderful, and is very definitely one of my favorite items still. It is small, it is compact, it has three speeds. Oh yes. It folds up, fits in the palm of your hand, so it'll fit down in your purse or your tote bag. You can put it, set it up like that to blow on you. It doesn't use batteries. It comes with a little USB charger that you just plug in right here and then plug into a USB port, and that's all it needs to charge it. Love this fan. We have no food in the house. We're leaving in a few days. We went out to eat and we sat on a patio for lunch and it was hot. We were in the sun. They had fans, but we couldn't feel it. Reached in my purse, grabbed this, turned it like this, turned it on and aimed it at both of us and it was wonderful. It made our dining outside in the sun in 90 degree weather very pleasant. I even had a couple of people come over and ask me where I got this, where I got it. They wanted to know too. Love it, I think you will too under $20, I believe it's 19 on Amazon. I'll list it below. Two things and we'll be through. Next, 
is Biscuit. Here he is, can you see him? When I tell you that Biscuit is stressed to the max, he has no idea what's going on. I mean, he is, he's, he's doing great, but he's stressed. I keep telling him, it's all gonna be worth it, Biscuit. You're gonna have your own backyard. You're gonna have your own backyard to run in. You can run and you can chase squirrels and you can try to catch birds and lizards and it'll be your backyard. But I guess he doesn't understand it. But I have been using this with Biscuit since this all started more than I usually do because he loves it. He absolutely loves it. This is called a licky mat and maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but I'll hold it up close so that you can see. It's rubber and it's got all these little nubbies all over it. And what you do with this is you take any soft food that they eat, and this is good for cats too by the way, you can use their soft canned food. You could use fruit that's safe for them. <clears throat> you can use peanut butter. I use peanut butter on this for biscuit. And But if you're using peanut butter, you have to be super careful with peanut butter. You may or may not know this, but you never want to give your pet peanut butter that has the sweetener that starts with the Z. That's all you have to remember is look at the ingredient label. If it has a Z word in it, don't buy it. It's very dangerous. For your pet so don't give it to them so i'll take safe creamy peanut butter and i take a quarter of a teaspoon and i spread it all over this licky mat and you're thinking a quarter of a teaspoon that's all i give him and i can i can make it cover a big portion of this mat using the back of my spoon what we do with this is he had started begging for food when we would sit down for dinner and he doesn't get table food. So so I started giving him this while we have dinner. Uh, about 20 or 30 minutes before dinner time, maybe even an hour, I prepare this for him and just leave it up on the counter. He sees it, he knows it's coming. He can get really good when he knows this is coming. But when we sit down to, for dinner, I put this down for him on the floor. This will stick on your refrigerator or any like stainless steel uh, so that if you want your dog to stand up and lick against it, that way he can. We put this on the floor for Biscuit. He immediately starts licking this. And when I tell you, it puts him in a trance. His eyes roll back in his head and before you know it, his eyes are closed. And he will spend 30 or 40 minutes licking every tiny morsel off of this licky mat with his eyes closed. It's like he is just zoned out. It's like he's in another world. He's not even with it. All he's doing is licking, licking, licking this licky mat. I think these are about seven or eight dollars. They come in all colors and sizes and shapes and I've given these as gifts. Now I have had people tell me, a couple of people that I've given it to, that their dogs didn't like it. Wouldn't use it. They were older dogs and they didn't like it. So this may not be for every dog, but if you want to do something really special for your dog, I think they would, chances are they would like this. With all the stress that he's been under lately, I've been giving this to him one other time of the day. I just use a little bit less peanut butter. I just feel like if it's helping to calm him down a little bit, it's worth it. I'll take the chance on the calories. Just making sure that I use really uh, good, safe peanut butter for him without that Z word. It's not the Z word, it's the X word. It's the word that starts with an X. All right, love it. In that last video, you heard about my ankles. Those little black flies, I went out on the porch to help Jim with the door, and before I knew it, I was being attacked by little black flies biting around my ankles. Woke up in the middle of the night clawing my ankles, and they were bleeding from those bites. Uh, it was itching so bad. I forgot all about this product. Forgot I had it. But now I remember, and it will be with me. I first saw this reviewed a couple of years ago, and I ordered it for Jim, actually, to use on the golf course, because on the golf course, you can imagine, there are a lot of flying insects. And he was coming home with bites, and mainly those no that we hear so much about. As I said, I bought this for him on Amazon, and it's called No Bite Me. 
and this is a little sample size. I ordered the large size for him to carry in his golf bag, and I ordered uh, a, lar a large size for us, and then I ordered a few of these little tester sizes. Uh, like to carry in your purse or beach bag. We always carry one in our beach bag. But let me show you. It has sort of a minty smell, I guess. It looks like that. And, and to repel the insects, you don't rub it on. You take just a tiny little bit on your hand, on your finger, and it, around your ankle or behind your knee, uh, wherever you think you are likely to get bit, you just dot it on, just dot it. And that's all you do, you don't rub it in. Now, once you've been bit and you start to itch, you can rub it in. Jim really likes it. He says he uses it, that it definitely helps. Not expensive, I can't remember offhand what it costs, but it says it's bug repellent and after bite cream, effective against black flies, mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. Now have remembered, I have this. You know, we go to the beach, living here in Florida, and you never know when it's going to happen, but you're sitting there in your little chair under your umbrella, minding your own business, and all of a sudden, the sand fleas are out, and they are all over your legs, biting your legs and your ankles and your feet, and you're swatting them. You can put a few dots of this on your calves and on your ankles and feet, and guess what? They leave you alone. They leave you alone. Love this. Love it. I'll list it below. As I said, this is the last video here. I promise you, if there is something wrong with this video, you're going to see it anyway. I don't care. Jim said, just show them the one with the lipstick on your teeth. And I said, no way. Well, I don't care what's wrong with this one. You're going to see it. The next time you see me after this, we will be in our new home. Not a new home, but it's new to us. And so many of you in that last video where I showed you pictures of the inside of it and the outside, you said, oh, Patty, that's just like you. That is just like you. It is just like me. But let me tell you something. There's going to be some changes. There's going to be some big changes. And I'm going to carry you with me. The first big change is for Biscuit. One of the reasons we bought a house is we wanted a yard for Biscuit, a backyard where he could run and play in and do what dogs do. And that house does not have a gate that connects the fence to the house in the back. There's a, a nice brick paver pathway going back there from the front, but there's no gate. So we have to have a gate to keep him in. So that's the first thing on our agenda that's gonna happen the day we move in. It, so that'll be the first thing that happens. But the second thing that's going to happen is we're gonna replace flooring. When you first walk in that house, it has hardwood floors and they go, the hardwood continues on into the little eat-in kitchen. But the rest of the house is that beautiful white carpet, which is not gonna be practical for us at all. So we're gonna leave the white carpet in the bedrooms. Uh, the guest, the bathrooms I think have tile if I remember correctly, but we're gonna have the carpet removed from the living room and dining room and we haven't decided yet if we're gonna continue with that same hardwood flooring uh, that's in the entry hall and kitchen or if we're gonna go with a tile in the dining room and in the living room, but it'll be one of the two. So I'll carry you with me when we make those decisions and I'll probably be asking for your help on an awful lot of things. Have some other things that I'm thinking about uh, that I'll tell you about later. Don't wanna tell you too much now. Uh, don't wanna have this video any longer than it already is, but as I said, uh, there's gotta be some changes there. And I'm just so excited to uh, let you watch me decorate it, see what you think, and take your input too on it. Again, I wanna thank Maria Nicola for sending me that beautiful 10-way necklace. Uh, I hope you'll go over to Maria's side and show her some love. You're good at that, you're the best at that. You know that if I bring you something and I show it to you, it's something that I love, it's something that I would purchase myself if someone has sent it to me. Wouldn't show it to you if I didn't like it. But I love this 10-way necklace. I can just think of so many ways to wear it and how practical it is for any and all of us. So go over and show Maria some love and she'll know that you found her because you're using the Rockstar Mom Discount code. 
it's a good thing. Stay tuned to see the dress. You'll be surprised. I'll put all the information on it. All the makeup I'm wearing today will be down there also. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours